ABC Kinder Teeth presents Slowly, 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 said the sloth, written by Eric Carl. Slowly, 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 a sloth crawled along a branch of a tree. And that's supposed to be a sloth. Uh, there is a, these two things are postman butterflies. And that is a porcupine. And so that's what a real sloth looks like. It doesn't even look like a real animal, does it? But that's just the way they look. That's a sloth. That is a postman butterfly. Very pretty. It's over here. See? Over here. Look very similar. And, of course, a porcupine. Stay away from these things if you ever see them because these quills could really hurt. Slowly, 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 the sloth ate a leaf. And this is a macaw, and this is an anaconda. So those are macaws. And that is an anaconda snake. <laughs> Slowly, 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 the sloth fell asleep. And you have this animal, which is a puma, or a mountain lion, or a cougar. And this over here is a bird that's called cock of the rock. And there is an example of a cock of the rock bird. It looks pretty close, pretty close. Color is a little bit different. And this is a puma. No, 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 no. That's a shoe. That's a shoe called a puma. That's not what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. I need a different picture. Oh, yes. There's a puma or a mountain lion or a cougar. They're all the same thing. Slowly, 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 the sloth woke up. And uh, this right here is an armo, excuse me, an armadillo. And this right here is a hummingbird. And here is a, yes, that's a hummingbird, but that's a camping trailer called a hummingbird. No, I want to know the real bird. Show me the real bird. Hold on. Okay, yes, much better. That's a hummingbird, and it looks pretty close, pretty close to the picture, doesn't it? Yes. And, of course, here is an armadillo. Very interesting animals, very interesting. All day long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. This is a double crested basilisk, and this is a taper. And here is the double crested basilisk, just like this. Very close, very close. And the taper looks like this. Looks almost like a bear with an anteater's nose, doesn't it? Almost. All night long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. There is a bat. There's a sloth, of course. And this is an animal called a cody. And there's a bat. No, 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 no. Not a baseball bat. No, no, no. A flying bat. Oh, yes. Much better. Much better. Ooh. <laughs> They look a little scary, don't they? A little bit scary. But that's just the way they look. And this is what a Cody looks like. Looks a little bit like a raccoon's tail.
Even when it rained, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. These two frogs, they're called poison dart frogs. Sounds dangerous, doesn't it? Poison dart frogs. And this is a peccary. And then you say, well, that looks like a pig. And it does look a lot like a pig. And here are some real pictures. There's a poison dart frog. Don't touch it. I would say not to touch it, probably. And that's a peccary. And it does look a lot like a pig, doesn't it? A lot like a pig. Why are you so slow? The howler monkey asked one day. But the sloth didn't answer. Here is a howler monkey. This is a chetzel. This is a yellow spotted river turtle. Oh, this had a lot of extra animals in this picture. And there is the chetzel. Pretty close, pretty close. Interesting. I like their belly. It's nice and red. This is a howler monkey. And the way it has its mouth, it looks like it can really howl, right? And here is a yellow spotted river turtle. Why do they call it yellow spotted? <gasps> yes, because it has yellow spots. Of course, of course. Oh, why are you so quiet? The caiman asked, but the sloth didn't answer. So, this is a caiman. You say, well, it looks like an alligator or a crocodile, and I would say, yes, it does. And this is a toucan. These two are toucans. And there's what a toucan looks like. See the long, long beak or bill? And of course, there's a caiman. Ooh, again, it looks like an alligator or a crocodile. Kind of scary looking, huh? Kind of scary. Why are you so boring? The anteater asked, but the sloth didn't answer. So there is your anteater, and these are leaf cutting ants because they cut leaves, I guess, to eat, I guess. There's an anteater, and of course it eats ants. And these are leaf cutting ants. Well, guess what? They're leaves that have been cut by these ants. Mm, help me, said the jaguar. Why are you so lazy? This is a Hoitzen. This is a Jaguar. The sloth thought and thought and thought for a long, long, long time. There is a Hoitzen. See? Looks pretty close, doesn't it? And, of course, a jaguar. No, 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 that's a car called a jaguar. No, no, I want to see the animal. Yes, much better, much better. There's the jaguar animal. Finally, the sloth replied, It is truthful that I am slow, Quiet and boring. I am lackadaisical, which means he doesn't really care one way or the other. I dawdle and I dilly-dally. Both means he kind of takes his time doing stuff. I am also unflappable, which means he doesn't get upset very easily. Languid, relaxed. Stoic, doesn't get upset about things. Impassive, doesn't really get upset about things. Sluggish, slow. Lethargic, slow moving. Placid, calm, mellow, all mean calm. Laid back and well, slothful. I am relaxed and tranquil, which means relaxed. And I like to live in peace. 
but I am not lazy. Then the sloth yawned and said, That's just how I am. I like to do things slowly, slowly, slowly. And that is a spider monkey up there. And there is a picture of a spider monkey right there. I like how it grabs onto things with its tail as well as its legs. Very interesting. And here's all the animals we saw in the books that I, that I already pointed out.